This is Rhiannon from RT1 Home, and I'm going to share how to create a simple Ikebana arrangement using found greenery. I just gathered these plants and some flowers from my backyard. You can also do the same or collect plants from a, a walk or a hike. I'm going to share the basic techniques from the sailboat method. Feel free to take a screenshot of this. I will also include a link in the description below to our blog, which has a lot more details on using this method. The materials you're going to need are the plants that you've gathered, a flower frog or kenzan to hold the arrangement, scissors for trimming and making adjustments, bowl of water to keep your plants hydrated, and then some sort of vessel. I'm going to show a couple different options, but we're using a shallow tray and a drinking glass as a couple options. To get started, I've narrowed down the plants I want to use for the arrangement and organize them by height and fullness. And I'm going to start with the Kenzan, which is the base of the boat, as you can see on the table. And then I'm going to add the tallest skinny pieces, which will represent the mast of the boat. I did two. You're welcome to do one or as many as you'd like. The next stems I'm using are actually flowering English ivy. Uh, I have two blooms here that I'm going to use for the centerpiece, which is the bow or front of the boat. You want this to be the, the fullest and most, you know, dramatic part of the arrangement. I also used two stems for this part. Next, I don't know what this plant is, but I liked the fullness and the height of it. It is going to represent the left sail or the main sail, so that's going to be your biggest sail for the arrangement. Next is another flowering stem that I found, also don't know what it is. That is going to represent the right sail or the right jib. So you can see it's also full, but not quite as tall, so it's a bit smaller. And then as you set it up, you're going to, you know, need to make some tweaks and adjustments. There's no wrong way to do it. Whatever you think looks beautiful to you, adjust as needed. I'm also going to share a couple different vessel options, which represents the boat. First, I have just a porcelain shallow tray, and you just want to make sure when you water that you do fill the water level up to be at or above the Kenzan level to ensure the stems are actually absorbing water and staying hydrated. Then I'm also going to share the arrangement placed in a short drinking glass. This is another option. I wouldn't recommend doing a tall glass just because unless your arrangement's really tall, it's just not going to fit. A drinking glass is a great option just because most people will probably already have this available at home and you don't have to buy anything additional. As you're creating your arrangement, you're going to need to trim your stems. So you just want to make sure that you do trim all of your stems inside a bowl of water when you're cutting. And then just make sure that you always dry off your scissors after you're done so they don't rust. And at the end, I'm just sharing the uncut version of making this arrangement just so you can see all the tweaks and changes that had to be made while creating this. I actually learned these techniques from my dear friend and former employee Nozomi who was born and raised in Japan and she showed me this when we had our shop and studio based in LA and we also had a couple workshops there teaching others um, this method of Ikebana. Nozomi learned Ikebana from her mother who was actually certified in Ikebana in Japan. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you.